Hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite UU channel 5M Tech. And I am your host Ollie. Today we are going to taking a look on Apple Watch Series 5. Does it worth in 2024 or not? So let's go and take a look at the Apple Watch Series 5 and see how the specific watch holds up in 2024. Now it's been a few years since this watch even came out and what I will definitely tell you is this is still a pretty decent watch to pick up. Funny enough, the main watch that I use every single day, the watch that I've been using probably for like a better half over a year now it's actually an Apple Watch Series 4. So if you buy the Series 5 or if you plan on buying it, you'll actually own a watch that is better than the one I actually use. And I would definitely tell you my Series 4 has given me an amazing experience. And I will also add that the Apple Watch Series 5 can only give you an even better experience on top of that. Now starting off with the outside of the Apple Watch Series 5, this watch actually looks very good still so on the outside of the Apple Watch Series 5, we have a few different options we can choose from. You can either choose the smaller 40mm eyes or you could choose the bigger 44mm size. Now typically I do like using the bigger size. But the 40mm size is still very good and I know a lot of people who use that specific size as well and they love it so I have nothing against either one. I think both of them do their job fairly well. One really cool thing that I love about these Apple watches is that the bands work exactly the same on all the watches whether you're on the first step watch or you own the Apple Watch Ultra. So keep that in mind the Series 5 you'll find bands all over the place and that's one thing I really like about these specific Apple watches the display is also very good I really don't think Apple's changed a crazy amount of things with the display in the last year you know I think the Series 7 brought a lot of changes but this watch probably was the one that ended up changing one of the cooler things with the specific display that's actually with an always on display. You have the ability of actually turning or enabling an always-on display on the Apple Watch Series 5. The Series 4 didn't have it. I don't know. I've heard a lot of conflicting things, whether people use it or not. But it's a nice feature to have, and I'm glad they kept it, you know at least on the future models. Now on the side of the watch, we do have our little knob that we can turn around, which is cool. We have our you-know-the-side button as well, and on the back. Another cool thing Apple did is that they kept the same charger for all their Apple Watches, so all their Apple Watches have been using the same exact charger fill since they've been made, so they still don't support any like other wireless chargers, so you can't charge your Apple Watch from your phone yet, which is annoying. It has to use its own proprietary charger, but I do like it because they've been using the same one over and over again, and I've been using the same Apple Watch charger on like all my watches since the first one I've owned to like this fourth one, so definitely some cool stuff. This watch is still a little bit water resistant. I wouldn't claim that it's like waterproof, but it is a little bit. I guess a little bit more resistant to some things, water resistance up to 50 meters, which is really nice, so in terms of that kind of covers up everything on the outside. Now some cool things to keep in mind, as well this watch has 32 gigabytes of storage built in, it was twice the amount of storage than the previous model, so I think that's a really cool thing that Apple actually ended up doing. On top of that, you still have the standard LTE cellular models right there and all those cool things that you have within a watch. Now, another big thing is that has five chip inside of it, so it isn't like the latest S8 chip, but I still think it's a pretty decent performing chip. And this thing is still going to be getting software support for a little bit of time. If you plan on buying it today or this year, you will probably be able to use it this year. And then maybe a security update in 2025 and that's probably going to be it so it's not going to be like an unlimited amount of things you can do so probably keep that in mind but i think it's okay it's not like the biggest deal breaker in the world and i still think this is a pretty decent watch 
When it comes down to it now, from the performance side, really, everything that I do on my Apple Watch is fairly basic. I just typically look at text messages, seeing if I'm getting a phone call. A big thing that I do is track my workouts, so whether I'm running or sprinting or whatever, usually I'll be able to track those things on my watch, and it does a pretty good job. The Apple Watch Series 5 should be even more accurate than my Series 4, and that's a pretty big thing to keep in mind, but even if you wanted to go ahead and kind of use your Apple Watch even more, I don't even know what you could do here, you do have a lot of stuff built into this watch. That's still really cool, so download a bunch of applications from the Apple Watch App Store, so there's still a lot of cool stuff here. You can take calls on your watch, so you all kind of know how to use an Apple Watch. By now, it's nothing new, but it's still the cool thing that they have here, and it's something that I would recommend looking into. If you plan on buying a watch, so overall what I'll definitely tell you is the only thing I could even think about with this watch is when you compare it against the Series 8. Yes, the Series 8 is a better watch. It has a probably a little bit like a few more things going for it. I wouldn't even say it has a lot more going for it for everything that I do with my Apple Watch. I guess it's not like an iPhone where every year there's new things and it's way much less like a way bigger upgrade with watches. It's not really like that I've never really felt like that. So in this case, I feel like you're still getting a very good premium Apple Watch. I would say as long as your iPhone supports the Apple Watch, you're good to go. And in this case, since the Apple Watch is still supported, you should be able to go and buy any iPhone that's still supported and be able to use them side by side. So in terms of that, that's kind of how both these Apple or how the Apple Watch Series 5 holds up in 2024. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Till then, bye.